Hey, check this out. I just got a um, shipment from Mouser, and one of the things I got was Darlington Transistor, Darlington Power Transistor, and uh, here it is right here, and um, in my Jewel Thief uh, charge pump circuit, I replaced that with, I mean, from a low, a low power transistor I had before, just a fair, Fairchild switching transistor. Um, which I think f probably got about three volts from a, uh, I don't even think it was that, it was close to three volts I guess, from 1.5 volt uh, double A. Um, but anyway, um, <clears throat> I like this idea of the Darlington transistor that's all in one, one little package. Um, I also, uh, just for goofing around, I, I, um, I upgraded one of the capacitors to a uh, photo flash capacitor, and that's this booger right here, 270 microfarad, and I put a Zener diode in to uh, cap the voltage on that. But um, other than that, the circuit's pretty much the same, Jewel, standard Jewel Thief circuit. Um, but anyway, um, and I don't have my digital multimeter because it blew it up um, with one of the uh, one of the circuits that fried it. It was a Radio Shack, so I'm getting a different one. But this is my interim. Um, analog, which is good. It'll do it'll do in a pinch. So anyway, um, this one, this Darlington transistor with a circuit gets about, I don't know, three or four times the voltage. And let me just hook up the, uh, the AA right here and you can watch the, um, the voltmeter. Yeah, we got um, eight little over 8 volts on that. Uh, little over 8 volts from this 1.5 volt AA. Of course there's no load on this. Um, now the interesting thing about adding the uh, the photo flash capacitor is, um, is that when I, when I release the power it takes a really long time for it to, to discharge. It's taken a long time as you can see it doesn't pop down to zero very quickly. It kind of hovers around a half a volt for a long time. Now, that's all well and good. That's a 1.5 volt AA. Now we pop it up. See, I'm going to change this to 50 volt range. So now we're, we're now at a 50 volt range. Now I'm going to hook up a 9 volt. I got a 9 volt in here. Now this 9 volt in the same circuit. I pop it on, and let's see. You can watch the meter. Yeah, we were, we're. It's a 30. I've had this thing go up to 35. It slowly creeps up to 35, but but now it's hovering at around 30, and that's 30 volts from a 9 volt. So I guess you can almost say it's like three times. Not quite a quadrupler, but three times. So now I pull off the juice from the battery and again see how long it takes to go down of course there's no load on it so it's just like draining slowly I mean it's still it's still saying 20 volts and I have no power attached to it it's just all coming from the capacitor so anyway I just thought that would be pretty interesting um, and I'll show you the circuit right here you can pause and take a gander at that if, if I'm not blocking the light Let's see, am I blocking the light? There we go. You can pause that, take a gander at it. It should be focused, I can see it. Um, that's pretty much it. A couple of parts. And uh, it works pretty good for, for multiplying that voltage.